Hello. How are you? All right. How are you doing? Good. So have you filled out your application for the PTD? What is that? Did your attorney not speak to you about the pretrial diversion? Yeah, I told him I didn't want to take any type of probation or anything due to my veteran status. Right. And me and my parents have already, my mother actually wrote a letter to give to the court. My father already went down to the office to drop the charges. So I'm not understanding why I have to take a plea for this case. Oh, you don't have to take a plea. But uh, your attorney will speak to you about people dropping charges. Mm -hmm. Because some cases, the complainant can say it, they don't want to go forward, but this is not the complainant's case. It's the state of Texas versus. Right. And the reason why it says the state of Texas versus, whenever you have alleged crimes that have been committed, the crime is against the state of Texas. Okay. So, Ms. Ferguson. Yes, ma'am. Uh, she doesn't want PTD. So, give me a jury trial setting, please. Okay. So if I take it to trial, that means I get a, a longer sentence or something, right? You'll have to speak to your attorney. What I can tell you about jury trials is what ends up happening is your attorney is present. The state is present. There's something called jury selection because this is a felony. 12 people will sit in the box yes, and the state will present their case through witness testimony or whatever evidence they have. And then you and your attorney can present evidence if you choose to. You don't have to because the burden is on the state. And then the jury will deliberate after closing arguments and they will make a decision on whether you're guilty or not guilty. If they say that you're guilty, this is a state jail felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from 180 days up to two years in the state jail facility. And depending, I don't know your case. All I know is the charges. So you may be eligible for probation from a jury. All right, Ms. I'm already a felon. Is there any way we can postpone this, like reset my court date? Because I don't she's really talk you, to my... She's giving you a trial date now. What's the date? February 12th. All right, your jury trial date is going to be set for February 12th. Once you sign the reset form, you're excused, and you'll need to be here at 9 a.m. for jury trial. I'm sending you All right. Just All right, so Ms. Shepard, you'll be meeting uh, an impact court instead of here for your jury trial. Yes, I can hear you. All right, are you Ms. Gardia? Yes, I am. I am Ms. All right, is there a reason you're not in court today? I'm very ill. All right, what is your issue? I don't know how to pinpoint all of them. And I'm, I'm having a problem living. Okay. Living. My, my health is deteriorating. All right, Ms. Gardia. Yes. I'm going to need you to come to court tomorrow, okay? I can't make it there. I cannot. All right. If you don't have a doctor's excuse or something from to your to attorney that hospital. you're in the hospital... Then you're gonna have to come to court. Hospital. This is this is uh, uh, to keep me. Uh, what do you call it? Every time I do that, something bad happens to me. Uh, every and, time you come um, to court. No, every time I go to the hospital. I can't, or do I have to go to a doctor or go to the hospital? And then they'll send me to a mental hospital, and I'm in the hospital for a long time. And then I come home, and my place is wrecked. Okay. Okay, and now there, there's some stuff going on, and there is a, an exploitation going on, identity theft and DNA, through DNA, harvesting DNA for identity theft purposes with Haven for Hope, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I am a victim for almost 20 years. This is my issue. And I got abducted through them following me and falsely accusing me of this, you know, uh, what was going on. I am not a mental schizophrenic, paranoid, 
all the other things I said, they're saying that's how they did it right. through the internet. So, this is my situation. All right. So I, I, if, I understand. I don't, if I do that, this whole thing is going to go and I am going to have a heart attack because I'm not well. All right. I understand, Ms. Uh, Gardia, but I'm going to need you to come to court tomorrow. And then what will happen when you show up to court tomorrow? Your attorney will be here and your attorney uh, will speak to you because I need you to come in so that your attorney can speak to you in court and so oh, that your attorney God. can review your case in court. All right. Is there anything else? All right. Oh, thank you, Ms. Gardia. And thank you to the person who helped her zoom in. Hello. Good morning. All right. So there today is your plea deadline date. Judge, um, I, uh, I spoke to the state. Today is the first day we have power back in our building. Uh, we've been without power for like three weeks. Uh, so we're a little behind on trying to get some things, uh, just opening files and whatnot, because uh, they were saved on, unfortunately, on the computers. See, yeah. this is what I tell people. And this is why people need to watch documentaries. This is why people need to watch movies that are disaster movies. Everybody wants to put things on computers. And I always say, you know, it's great to put it on there. It's great to have backup, but you still need the paper. What happens if system goes down? And, you know, I've been the canary in the coal mine here as well. I've been telling people what happens because they're putting everything online. What happens if this system fails? And it appears that it may fail because how long have we been waiting for Odyssey to go live? Has this been like 20 years or something? There was a rumor of this when I first started practicing. So it's been over 20 years. And then other places, they said they don't like Odyssey. But we we're supposed to go live with Odyssey at the beginning of the year. When, when is it coming live now, Norma? May. And actually, oh. I think it was supposed to be February. Yes. That's what I was about to say is February because I saw that. Oh, that so email. it's May. And actually, it was supposed to be before February. And then they kept pushing it back. So now we're in May. And here's my prediction. I predict that it's not going to be live in May. That's just me. Uh, Jim Weed, are you with me on that? Correct. Text share highly. If you talk to somebody, we can get that program installed. There we go. Texture. That's what it's texture. called. Texture. Texture. All right. Texture, people. Texture. Uh, Travis County uses it. There's, there's a bunch of counties. And to me, they're doing all of this training for Odyssey. And if a program is so good, it should be similar to a cell phone. You should just be able to turn it on and figure things out. All right. So. Judge, what I'd like, and I think the state is okay with it, uh, two weeks from today, I think is the eighth. Uh, just let me catch up on a couple of things because I have some things I want to present before we make our decision. We do have a tweak to the offer, which may help, but if you could give us to the eighth, that should work. All right, Norma, can you recall this for the eighth? <laughs> 